How's it going? What's the sound and picture like? Can you see me okay? Where's the chat? Where's the chat? Anybody out there? 21 people. Is my chat working? Well, we'll see. Maybe there's a delay. Ah, good morning. Jasquatch, can you hear me okay? Is the uh, sound and picture okay for you? Hello from Montana. Must be early in Montana, I'm guessing. Newfoundland, whoa. Mid morning there. Okay, you're all looking good, great. New Zealand too. That's pretty cool. New Zealand, 10 hours ahead, two in the morning. Something like that. <coughs> 11 p.m. Australia, yeah. How you doing? Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this review too, Mike Daddy. Um, Grower's Choice and TSL, um, they collaborated on this guy, the ROI E420. It's their mid-range model for a 4x4. So I got it set up in the 4x4 there. And um, yeah, just gonna share the test with you today because I'm bored. Um, I'm on my own here all week. No coffee. <laughs> like fucking cough on my own if I want. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and look, touching my face, touching my eyes. I'm on my own. So uh, yeah, as I was saying, a long week on my own in here, bored out of my mind. Uh, busy, lots of lights going out. So very grateful for that. But uh, I have to say, it just uh, motivation on a Friday afternoon. Sun is shining. Oh, I had a couple of my mates calling me about going cycling this afternoon. And um, yeah, just uh, trying to keep myself motivated. So I thought I'd uh, stick myself on live. And then um, I'd have to behave and do stuff. <laughs> so anyway, I'll bring in a little tour. I don't think I've done a walk around in a while. Just don't plug you there. I was gonna clean that lens. It looks a bit um very uh, that is. So yeah, what do we got going on? Uh, fish are gone. I retired them. They were too <laughs> too too much to take care of. Uh, so they went to fishy heaven over Christmas. Um, I have a coloured light set up here. Actually, I'll show you this. Uh, I haven't shown anybody this yet. Let me put this in. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, you can see the colours. So, I'm going to do a blue, green, red, and white LED test on um, leafy veg um, and flowering plants flowering and fruiting plants but um, yeah just wait until the pandemic is over so we can get some more stuff and go to garden centers and all that so that's on the go i said i'll probably start that in a few weeks um long-term test still going migro light mars hydro cob Roma puck and I've got the QB88288 here, which if you notice, I've still got the uh, acrylic on here. And I'll leave that on just to annoy people. 
because I know it winds people up, so uh, I think uh, that's always good fun. Um, oh, and I got some more stuff um, here. Uh, Toto Grow from Spain, I take it. They sent it in from Spain. Toto Grow LED. I think that's how you pronounce it. So um, that's a four bar fitting there. I haven't really had much of a look at it. Pretty basic uh, Inventronics driver on it, just mounted on board. Now I ask you, why mount that on board? What's the point? To have a different cable set up, put the driver remotely, why not? Anyway, that's one. And then this one, which I haven't opened yet, I'll have to put you down for a sec. Quantum board type. Yeah. So yeah, pretty standard now at this stage. Toto Grow looks very like the Baba Green, so it has the same sort of Baba Green controller box on the top and same sort of heatsink. Samsung LM301B. Anyway, Toto Grow LED. Thanks for sending it in. I will test it next week. And uh, we'll see how that goes. What else have I got to show? Yeah, not much else going on at the moment. Yeah, Toto Grow. T O D O G R O. Uh, Big on Instagram, I think. Or certainly that's the way we connected and we've spoken. So yeah, this guy is the uh, Grower's Choice. You can see this, the Grower's Choice uh, with TSL Horty Tech. And it's the ROI E420. I think there's an ROI 680 as well for five by fives. And um, this guy, well, here's a spec. Let's see how well you can see this under the light. Uh, how's that for zooming? Yeah. So 420 watts, 2.6 micromole per second uh, efficacy. Mounting height. Six inches above canopy, 15.2 centimeters. That's what I have it at the moment. I'll just bring it in here. And we'll just have a close look at this. So I now get a bit of criticism for the. Um, where is that now? You need to be able to see the power meter as well. That's Sam, let's go back down here. Perfect for a five by five veg, yeah. Just unboxed for ROI 420 plugged in and nada. Well, there is a little controller on the side. Did you use that? A little dimmer and controller on the sidebar. James, what is the price range? I looked, but I can't remember. Can anybody else um, just have a look online? I don't have my laptop here. 
ROI dash uh, E420 uh, price it's American so price in dollars without taxes and shipping will be good if you can 660 to 700 dollars oh that's good turned it up to full still didn't turn on I don't know there's not much to it really I just check the connectors maybe but um yeah, you just you just open it up, uh, lock the folding thing open, and uh, off you go. So yeah, the hanging height. I was about to talk about hanging height. The um, I'm just going to turn this down. Actually, no, no, I'll leave it up. I'll leave it up because I want to show you the park. So this is currently hung at uh, that's just over six inches, six and a quarter inches. We'll just drop it down a little bit. Okay, so people talk about it being unfair about um, having a, you know, some lights being hung at different heights and getting different results at different heights and all that stuff. So the, there's a, some of it is missing the point really. So um, if you have a traditional single point of light like a HID or a boxed LED light, they're all, all the um, light energy is coming from a fairly central point and usually you have to hang them fairly high so that you don't have this big hot spot underneath so um you do get reflectance losses and all that type of stuff but um generally i'd calibrate them by lowering it down until the center point measurement is around a thousand par and then you know it's your reflective usually that's probably maybe 30 40 centimeters off the um, test area and quite a lot of light then is getting spread out to the side walls and um, being reflected back in by the mylar. LED bars disperse light better. That's right, Dan. So the whole point of the LED bars is that you're physically spreading out the light source and therefore the light is not intensified at the center and therefore you can hang it lower and um, therefore it can be more efficient too because you have less light generally um, being reflected and bounced around. So, um, you know, you could argue the last light I did, the Tinkro, you know, their recommended hanging height is six inches. I think the center point power measurements were 1300 or something like that. So, you know, that was basically a light that was too big for the grow area. Um, or, sorry, was hung too low in the grow area. Um, and was creating two big numbers in the centers. Um, and I would have liked to have hung that higher and I probably should, I just didn't have time. Uh, however, I was following the manufacturer's recommendations and um, you know, manufacturers send me their lights. I commit to testing them at the height that they tell me uh, and uh, so I don't piss them off. And uh, you know, and then I make my own judgment as to whether it's the right hanging height or not. So in this case, uh, Manuel and Bill from from um, Grower's Choice has sent it through. Has told me six inches. So uh, I'm going to hang it and test it at six inches. Um, I'll show you what it's like at twelve inches and two foot. But there's no point. You're just losing a lot, a lot of light to ref reflectance losses off the walls, um, in my view. So uh, I'm not going to, you know, do 12 inch, 24 inch tests. Um, there's no point. And in particular, with these lights, even at a low hanging height, they've really good spread, so they're, they're reaching the edges really well. And uh, so there's, there's genuinely no reason. So, what's the heat at six inches? Well, the uh, you can tell by myself, but there's very little radiated heat off these. Um, not much. Uh, bars are running a little bit warm. 
I'm holding them here. They're probably running at about 45 degrees. Might go test that. Yeah, so the hottest point in the bar here, you can see it, it's 40.8 Celsius, which is uh, 105 Fahrenheit, so it runs pretty cool. Anything running at about 20 degrees above ambient is, um, is running pretty cool. And it's about 20 degrees in here. Uh, so yeah, at six inches, this is recommended for a four by four, which it's in. You can see it spreads out. The, this is uh, six inches or 15 centimeters from the edge. So it's pretty much three foot by three foot, the physical size of it. You could fit it in a three by three or one meter by one meter. Um, it fits nicely in a four by four. And the center point measurement. So I don't know how oh, well. I'm just going to bring it a bit closer. This is the power meter here, measured in tens of uh, photons, or hundreds of photons. So 1,250 here. So you can see that's quite high, and that's under the center bar. Goes up to 1,400. As I move it, uh, a thousand in between the bars and back up to what was it there? 12 or 1300. Now just turn over off the overhead light just to be sure. So in between bars, it's dropping as low as 800. And it's ra rising up to thir ooh, four, nearly 1,400. So yeah, I would say that uh, that LED is recommended for a 3x3. Three three. It shouldn't be a 3x3. Three three. I'll just check the manual. say who's that said about the three by three just looking there who said three by three is that from the website uh, green khaki is that where did you get three by three from? Yeah, three by three. Okay. Well, I'm not going to test it in three by three. It doesn't fit. It wouldn't only just barely fit physically. Uh, and uh, it doesn't, doesn't make much sense to me. So I'm going to test it in a four by four. And the power numbers, you know, you, 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 well, we'll see what the average power is over this size, but um, I think uh, I think it's going to be pretty high, even in a four by four. So it's not going to hurt the numbers anyway. So we'll start testing it at six by six. So everything is level, pretty centered. Just gonna tidy up the setup. Put you back here for a minute.
Okay, so uh, just a little note on the power here. This is at um, 220 watts, so it'll run a bit more efficiently at 220 than 110. It's drawing 393 watts at the moment. Uh, that's at full, so about 100%. Uh, we're going to start taking numbers now and uh, measuring the power. So I'm going to put you up here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm testing in a 4x4 and uh, I test in every 6 inches. So that means we've got 8 by 8 in terms of a grid. So it'll be 64 power measurements in total. Um, which means it's going to take a little bit of time to do this, so be patient with me. I'll put the power thing up here so you can see it for me. Well, I'm taking the numbers. Is that joint in the middle going to hold for 10 years? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty solid. Um, only cast metal, cast aluminium. Um, but yeah, it's pretty robust.
Yeah, the power numbers are pretty high, high here, straight under the bar. Same as red. You can't read that, can you? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's better. Here's the annoying thing of testing these bar lights is um trying to get room underneath when they're this low. 880 Big numbers here in the middle, up to nearly 1300.
up to the 1300s again. It's not mine. Ooh, 420, yeah. 380. 250. Okay, 64 minutes. So, that's it done. I will show you now. I've got to go into my PC and load these up. Um, calculate them will take too long, so just a few minutes. Oh, excuse the mess. Now. Show you the screen now in a second and I'll enter in the numbers. So I just plug all these numbers into a spreadsheet and it'll just give me the, the averages. I'll show you the screen here. Hopefully you can see it okay. So we want a new board. I think well can you see this? Which a bit further away. A bit distorted, but I'll, I'll give you a better view in a sec. Uh, new sheet. Uh, TSL. Numbers. Choice E420. for a new sheet. Today's date. Light manufacturer and growers. GSL. Model B420. Power 397. Height above canopy. 15 centimeters, test area 120 by 20, mylar walls. This is a previous one, I'll just clear that. So, this will just take me a minute to type in, bear with me.
It's not the most uh, exciting live show you've probably ever come into. The best I can do. Okay, we're going near to the big reveal now. Exciting. Nice and spreadsheet is behaving. We will get this now. So check. Okay, you can't see those numbers very well. I'll just change the text. There. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So and see where the bars are we're getting the where the measurements are taken directly underneath the bars so what are we getting here Ooh, very nice so we've got uh, average ppft in a 1.2 by 1.2 is 630 so a 1.2 by 1.2 is 1.44 meters squared if you're doing it in a 3.3 .3, that's um, 0.81 meters squared so you'd be about 80 percent higher than that so you'd have an average of about uh, 1050 par um which i think having a uh, 1050 par average is a bit on the high end so i don't know who was recommending that um three by three but uh this light is too big an output in my view for a three by three an average power of 630 is, is pretty good. Um, it's high, it's going to give you about um, 32 DLI at 1212, uh, which is pretty high. 40 DLI is um, daylight integral is um, 40 moles uh, per day is, um, you know, the highest you get in the round equation. So, so the efficiency is 2.32. Now, I would argue with this light again that, um, yeah, you know, the recommendation of the manufacturer is six inches or 15 centimeters. I think that's too low. I think I would prefer to get a spread around the edges here and just use up this area around the edges with higher power. Bounce a little bit more light off the edges and um, lose a little bit of efficiency for less hot spots in the center and um, better spread around the edges that would be my view so i'll say in the video but i am going to test it and present it at uh, six inches because that's what the manufacturer um, suggests and uh, i'm doing things in good faith with them so Doo -doo -doo. any comments there anything i need to answer any chance of reviewing a Sunplex SP LED G2? Let's have a look. Sunplex LED, what was it, G2? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so so I suppose where we're getting to now with this stuff is um, uh, hopefully you've noticed by the channel that when I'm testing, th these are uh, Samsung LMs, 
uh, three zero one Bs. Um, the uh, efficiency as a grow light system is going to be very similar for all these configurations. So um, as long as they're providing what they say they're providing, these are going to be in the region of about um, 2.2 micromoles per watt uh, delivered to the grow area at, um, you can't see it there actually, I'm going a bit. Where am I? There's the camera. So it's a pretty standard uh, LED bar. The fact they've even got a power chart there. So if uh, if you wanted to, you could actually um, put the numbers from their power chart into uh, into a spreadsheet and work it out. They're testing. Uh, they have results: six inch, twelve inch, eighteen inch, and twenty four inch. So a fair sum they got full power maps and they're publishing everything so that would give me a high degree of confidence that their their stuff is accurate and they've tested it them in various different sizes of area as well so yeah i would uh i would say go what price are they um let's go for the options let's see here so ppf the higher PPF with dimming, no timer. Is one thousand and nineteen dollars. Uh, what wattage is that? That's an eighty eight hundred watt. You can see it there. So yeah, it looks 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 good value, very good value for money. Um, don't know about the quality, obviously, but build quality looks okay. It's a fairly standard LED bar with the center box, with the drivers in it. Yeah, go for it. Let's say have a go. What else we got here? Anything else? Samsung are made in China. Yes, they are. Uh, they're all made in China where they're being shipped out of Korea. Good question. I don't know. Maxi Bright. Maxi Bright are going to send one over to me. Uh, I think they're waiting for their new model. I'll just check my email here. Uh, but they are going to send something. Yeah, they haven't confirmed if they're sending it through. They're waiting to get a new model. So I won't, I, I don't know when it's going to be through. That was a few months ago and uh, they haven't come back since. Any other ones? Bridge look strips in a DIY configuration. I make lights with the EB series strip 560 lamp. I don't test DIY stuff generally. Um, just way too much involved and I don't really want to be asking or answering everybody's DIY questions because uh, I'd be doing nothing else all day so LED Express E4 480 watts let's have a look uh, LED Express B4 for you. Uh, can't see that one, sorry. About the ROI 420, if it's manufactured in China. Probably is, but there's nothing wrong with being manufactured in China. Um, you know, most things are manufactured in China these days. Unfortunately, uh, I'm an engineer, so I prefer that wasn't the case, but um, that is the case. So I don't know what the problem would be. The, 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 some of the highest 
quality products available on the planet. You know, so you talk your your classic stuff, your iPhones, your computers, your laptops, uh, LED lights, everything. They're made in China. You know, that's that's just the way it is. Clues in on diode makers. Yeah, yeah, it's most of my China. It's just... How about science raging kush? I spoke to them about testing their light. They were going to send me one, but then we couldn't agree about a testing method because they were going on about this. I'd have to test at multiple angles with the quantum sensor and explain that the quantum sensor takes in light from like a 120 degree range. Uh, and um, I couldn't do a different test for them, and so we couldn't agree on a test, so I didn't accept the light from them. Uh, 301B and 301H, is there a difference? No, not really. 301Hs are more expensive. Raging <laughs> um, Cushy's fire, just not cost effective. Which was best, chilled LED or Lumatech Zeus? Lumatech Zeus. Um, why? Chilled LED is very good and it's very heavily engineered. Lumatech Zeus is a little bit more cost engineered actually, but it's a nicer design. It's a little bit lighter and um, you can clip the bars in and out and ship it easier and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, but to be honest, uh, if it was from a performance point of view, um, they're both very, very similar. So I would be, uh, it's, it's just a slight preference. I like the look of the, um, of the Lumitex use. Do, 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 do. I say in a three by three, 12 inches. Well, I say no, because it'll be too high power. A thousand and something power. I'll just do that calc now, actually. Calculator. So what do we say? Um, where's the bloody spreadsheet gone? Yeah. So the E420 in a four by four is 630. Um, so 630 uh, multiplied by Yeah, it'd be 1120 par average in a three by three. It's too high. It's just too high. Um, I don't see that uh, you need to be up at that level unless you're really um, stuck for space. Just have a larger space with a smaller average par. It's going to be easier on the fans. Do, 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 do. What else? Going back a bit. Uh, do, 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 do. Favorite light is HLG. Yeah. Zeus cool too. Yes, it is. How long is the wait on ordering from Migro at the moment? Uh, if it's a 100 or a veg, it's shipping straight away on the same day. Uh, we were short 200 watt drivers, so they're coming in on Monday. Um, so it'll be shipping away ranges from 200 up to 600 uh, from next week straight away. Then run into a problem of running out of heat sinks. So by early next week, I'm gonna be out of stock with everything and uh, they're not coming in until the end of the month so i'm going to have about two weeks with no stock so um good news is for us we've been selling very well bad news is as i said we're running out of stock do, 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 do. by 2023-24 we should have banger thousand plus ppfd leds for under 600 euros yeah i hope so i hope so 
HLG very good. Du, 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 du. Uh, you selling off your tested lights from other manufacturers? Sometimes I do. Uh, most of them, though, I return as a matter of principle. So, um, you know, Think Rosac went in. I'm just sending it off to a customer on their behalf. The chills just going back today. With UPS. Uh, these will be returned. Just a sec. On the call. I catch you again. Yes. That's the FedEx guy. <laughs> Uh, James, what else is there? Ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> Graham Buchan, everything comes from China except babies, they come from China. <laughs> uh, do do do, whatever else have we got? Sorry for scrolling over the camera. HLG makes quality, but I could get the same results with two Viper Spectra lights. Possibly, it depends on the model. The diff difference is you'll be using about twice as much energy. Viper Spectra are junk, sorry. Uh, and I don't mind budget lights, I, I, you know, well-engineered, efficient designs are good. Um, but yeah. So you want the Migo 400, oh, what are the way? We'll get it out to you next week. Have you tested the new white Viper Spectra? No, but I know the result already. <laughs> Is it the Pro? If it's the Pro, I did a post on Instagram and by their own power chart, it's junk. So, uh, How much do you charge for shipping a micro veg to Western Canada? You're going to have to look on the website, sir. I'm not sure at the moment. Just go have a look and uh, put it in the cart and you'll see the shipping cost before you have to go any further. Uh, H series Samsung chips are better. Have you tested them, Shane? I uh, don't think they are better. They're the same. Uh, just different bidding, but. Uh, I'd uh, love if you help me find the best LED for the cheapest price at the Mars Hydro TSL 2000. I had really bad drivers and it got really hot. I'm not a fan of Mars Hydro anymore. Uh, yeah, well, they put them on top of the light, which is a stupid place to put them. Spider Farmer, decent budget light, I agree. Am I still a bad, big fan of the Illumitech New Light? Yes, I am. Still the best one around in that range, I think. Ooh, did I just change something? I think I did. What did I do? Oh, sorry. Uh, the VFX. Green Gene did a test between LM301Bs and 301Hs are exactly the same. Yes, they are, just marketed more expensively and much more expensively. They're pointless. All right, that's about it. What time is it? Oh, it's 3 p.m. Uh, I think I've stretched enough out of the week this week. Um, snuck out a video with minimal effort, which is always good. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, coming on board and um, staying tuned in. Not the most exciting um, live show ever done on YouTube, I don't think. But uh, I kind of enjoyed them because uh, get to see what people are thinking. Build PLC and you won't be disappointed. You won't send me a light. Well, you won't. I've tried to get in contact and got very little response. Um, if you can uh, convince Green Jeans to send me one, I'd love to test them. Cheers, Dadru. Cheers, Graham. See you, Boogers Grow. Thanks, Rob100. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good weekend. And um, we, will, uh, we will see you soon. Take care.